Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts for this week. The East Coast Canadian snow crab fishery has opened up and prices have come down marginally. Also in the Atlantic, the sole market is firming up with raw material prices up by $100 per metric ton. Rumors are that chum and pink salmon out of Hokkaido, Japan will be worthless this summer, a result of the tsunami and nuclear disasters last month. This will put significantly more pressure on Alaskan salmon. In the news this week, Japan has set the legal limit for radioactive iodine levels in seafood at 2,000 becquerel per kilogram. A becquerel is a unit of measure relating to the scientific rate of decay. The term is coined after Henry Becquerel, a Nobel Prize winner for his work in discovering radioactivity. The 2,000 becquerel limit is the same that is used for vegetables and was set in response to the discovery of radioactive iodine in sand lance sand lance caught off the Ibaraki coast in Japan. Sand lance is a small species of fish. Smaller fish are expected to test positive for radioactive iodine first and as with mercury the particles accumulate in larger species of fish as they consume smaller species. However, unlike mercury, radioactive particles dissipate over time. Other countries such as Canada, the US, France, Australia and Singapore are reacting to reports of radioactivity by increasing inspections of their imported food at their borders. In India, the government has gone one step further and banned food imports altogether for a three-month period. Russia is considering banning seafood harvesting in areas around Fukushima power plant. At Tradex Foods, we are taking matters into our own hands and have implemented radioactive testing on raw materials and water used in the processing and production plants in Asia. All raw materials purchased and brought into inventory since this disaster will be tested. In other news, there is a growing demand in South America for salted fish. Consequently, prices for Pacific Cod, collarbone on products, com common product forms used for salting, have climbed by $100 a metric ton. Prices for J-cut Pacific Cod have also climbed. And finally, New England's haddock season is opening in less than a month, on May 1st. This year's stocks are reportedly at a high, as they were, as they were last year. But typically, fishermen land a small portion of the actual quota. This is because fishermen are restricted in the number of fishing days they're allowed. The U.S. fishery is a mixed species one, meaning that once the quota is reached for other species such as cod, it is shut down, regardless. U.S. and Canadian landings for May and June are expected to be high, which will likely drive fresh prices down. Last year, fresh haddock fillets sold for $5.30 a pound, and this year it's been predicted that they may drop as low as $4 a pound. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight this is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.